Let's bring on big game James Allen from the uh, Times Union uh, for a few minutes here on high school sports and high school basketball in particular. But we're not going to uh, let James uh, slip away here without asking first our poll question. Good morning, big game. Morning, Roger. So on the road, help us out here, NFL quarterback of the three, which would you take to win a road playoff game? Eli Manning, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers. I'll take Brady. Okay. That was pretty quick. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, you know, no, no detriment to what uh, Eli Manning did, those two Super Bowls, but uh, I don't think he's, I don't think he's, demonstrated that in the last few years and uh brady at 39 to having the season he had i, I think i i i'd stick it out with him all right tom, tom brady it is for you there big game we'll keep our lines open too at four seven six one oh four five four seven six one oh four five how about the high school basketball scene what's the big game on tap tonight that you are going to be covering i will be uh at pat rally center to watch uh shaker play at schenectady tonight yeah that when I when I looked over the lineup for tonight, and I'll huddle with my colleagues Chris Honorado and Ashley Miller when I get to the Mighty One Three a little bit later on today. That was the game uh, on the boys' side. That's a is that a six thirty start? Six thirty start, yes. Correct. Okay, and that's six thirty varsity start tonight, right? Correct. Okay, yep. so Shaker at Schenectady, and Schenectady has has no losses yet, right? That is also correct. Okay. So break that down for me a little bit. Uh, two teams in a suburban council on the boys' side that is pretty much wide open. There are a lot of teams that can beat each other in the suburban. I really like the way this this uh, division uh, is shaping up this season. What do you What do you think happens tonight? Shaker on the road at Schenectady. Well, you know, it's incumbent, it's incumbent on Shaker if they want to win on the road. They're going to have to limit the, the, the fast break opportunities that the Patriots get. Uh, they've been able to get out and run on a pretty regular basis. And uh, they lost their bet leading scorer to Green Tech, uh, Tobias Holmes, uh, who's not, not with them anymore. But, you know, they've, they've been able to, to uh, weather it. And two guys have really kind of stepped up for them. Uh, both of them are 6'4", uh, John Rawls and, uh, and Tyrone Jenkins. And they've been able to score pretty well. And uh, they've been able to balance their offense out. And Shakers coming off a real nice stretch. They went out and uh, won a tournament uh, last week out at Fayetteville Manlius and won an incredible game against uh, Bishop Kearney, who's state ranked. Uh, they won a a steal underneath the basket, uh, underneath uh, Bishop Kearney's basket. And uh, Devin Mahoney hit a half court shot at the buzzer to win that game by three. And then they beat the the host team, uh, Fayetteville Manlius. And they're really young. Shakers doesn't have a lot of experience. Uh, they got a lot of guys that are juniors and sophomores that are doing the damage, one of them being the junior Sloan Seymour, and sophomore uh, Jay Cook has been playing really well. And They're going to have to use that size and, and their effectiveness in the half court to win this game. What makes Schenectady go, uh, and are you surprised that the Patriots are undefeated? Well, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I mean, I thought they were going to be good this year, but you know, you again, you lose your your guy who's been your leading scorer the last couple of years. Um, you always kind of wonder how that's going to play, how, how it's going to, you know, is it going to be any different? And you know, they've been able to get a lot of contributions from a lot of different players, and um, defensively, I think they're getting the job done too. If you look at some of their wins, I mean, they've been able to to, uh, to get some big stops at the key point, the key times, and which is going to be a good test for them. And, you know, it's interesting from the standpoint that Schenectady's, you know, 8 0, Roger, but they've got not only this game, but they've got Shen coming up on Tuesday. So uh, we're going to find out a lot about them over the next two games. Wow, These Shen and Schenectady on be, Tuesday. Uh, road lake for them. That ought to be a great matchup. I mean, look, Luke Hicks is, he is really. Uh, he's he's taken over for that Shen team with Kevin Herter now at Maryland. Who was gonna who was gonna get the shots for Shen this year and score the points? I would say so far this season, Luke Hicks has stepped up and done a great job. Yeah, he's averaging twenty five, and uh, he's gonna uh, you know certainly get his opportunities uh, in that game on, on Tuesday as well. And you know you you look around and. They're not as veteran as they've been in the last couple of years. So, again, it's been a, like a wide open race. And, you know, Skeckley's winning the Gray Division. They're up by two games in the lost column on that side of the ledger. And, and, and Shen's up two games on the, in the Blue Division on that side of the ledger. But, 
know, if say for the sake of argument, not that you know that either of these things are definitely going to happen, but say uh, Shaker wins tonight, and then Scotty goes in and wins the Shen, <laughs> and yeah, everybody's got one loss, and then and then the races are a lot tighter. So things can change pretty quickly in this league, and um, there are a lot of teams that are you know like a Shaker who's you know six and two. Um, there's a lot of teams like a Saratoga and we've got a couple losses. Colony coming off a big win uh, recently against Green Tech after losing the Academy on the weekend. And there's a lot of dangerous teams out there, and things can change quickly in, in, the, in the league. And uh, you know, we're going to get a, a real, uh, a, a real strong look at the landscape here over these next two games. And it's you know, safe for the sake of argument, one of them does remain undefeated, uh, and then you know, you're going to have a little better idea who's going to win these divisions. Hey, one more for me, big game. I missed it on Saturday. I was traveling out to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena with my son Matt. But I, I, if I had been in town, I would have I would have went to see the Colony at Albany Academy game. How was the head to head matchup with Hamir Wright and Isaiah Mall? Well, it was it was interesting. I mean, uh, they did a good job of limiting uh, Wright's opportunities. Uh, I think one thing that people may misconstrue is that you know with with Wright is you know he's like oh he's only averaging. You know, a little less than 18 points a game, but he's he's only taking 11 shots a game. <laughs> he's not taking a lot of shots. I mean, they're distributing, and he really did a good job when the game was close and Maul got into foul trouble. I right took over in the fourth quarter, and he deferred a lot. And he he passed out of double teams and did some nice things. And it wasn't his best game. He did that. No, the game the night before, he was seven for seven from the field against uh, Gilwin. He didn't have his best game shooting game, but. When the game was up for grabs in the fourth quarter, he scored nine straight points, and he had a couple of assists in the fourth quarter and had a couple of uh, real nice moves. He made a spin move on the, on the baseline and did a low post speed and, and dunking, and then he got out in transition on the two-on-one and got an alley-oop for Will Bennett for, for another slam. And You know, Mole had his moments too, but uh, he, he his offense kind of went away in the second half. And the academy... Ran some really, really good plays and got some really solid possessions in the half court uh, in the second half, and especially in the fourth quarter, to pull that game out. Big game, James Allen, with us every Friday morning here on Big Board Sports, talking high school basketball. Big game. You don't have to tell us who the your opinion is on who's the first. Uh, boys and girls all-star picks for the News Channel 13 all-star basketball team. But I will ask you on Sunday morning when I will see you at our first breakfast with all of our scouts. Yeah, sounds good, Roger. Thank you, big game. Lively discussion for sure.